have a good group of users and professors and whatever they can decide to come up with, we uh, try and build it for them. Some of them will come down with good prints. Some of them will have a design in their head but don't know how to put it down, so we help them with that. Um, but pretty much they have an idea of what they want. They know where they want to get, we just help them get there. Sometimes I'll build underwater cages for like the biology department. You know, they take them out in the ocean. Uh, Ramon, he's done a lot of work for space science. We have a couple of uh, satellites that we've helped build payloads for. If they can dream it up, we, we'll try to build it. You know, basically the way we look around here. This used to be a lot longer like this. And then they wanted it to be shorter. So I, had to, I cut it and I'm making a flange for the to be reattached. Penny's product it goes in here like that. So she used to have our, our very good uh, Gary Gary Kepper. He was a prototype research machinist for McCallum Douglas. Worked on a lot of the pro prototypes for the plane. You know. Mike Callan had his own machine shop for a number of years. And uh, Ramon Del Gavito, he, he was really good on the program. So it's, it's a very high level skill. While the equipment is relatively simple, what's required to make a part right the first time is necessary. It's a dream job for a machinist because you're only building maybe one or two of things. You know, everything's different, everything is new all the time. The fun part is setting up and, and designing or, or making the machine do what you want it to do and build the thing. We're here for the users. And that's our job. If they want us to build this, we'll build it. If they want us to come help them out in their lab, we'll come do that.